making his way to the ring from Sin City, this is Seven. We have Seven coming out for our main event tonight on Memphis Championship Wrestling Unleashed and I am still reeling from the fact that Victoria is the new commissioner as appointed by WWF Commissioner William Regal. And she made it clear that she has an agenda and that agenda includes Joey Abs. Joey Abs has indeed, in the past weeks, put his hand on Victoria. Of course, she interferes very freely on behalf of Steve Bradley during the Southern Heavyweight title matches. We'll get into more of that a little later. And his opponent, from Greenwich, Connecticut, the outrageous, Rod outrageous. The outrageous one, Rod outrageous, set for action against seven. Referee Robert Malone. Signals for the bell and we are indeed underway. Main event, Memphis Championship Wrestling Unleashed. We've already had one title change hands today. Tyler Gates, the unlikely new light heavyweight champion. Thanks in large part to Rod Rages, as things get even more heated up for his matchup with Spanky in Jackson, Tennessee on April 18th. Tickets still available for this big event. You can get them at the Jackson, Jackson Civic Center box office or at Davis Kid Booksellers. You will wanna be there that night Chris Benoit taking on Kurt Angle. It is the biggest card of wrestling action ever to hit Jackson, Tennessee. We want you to be a part of it. And look at Rod Rages. Take it to seven. Close line outside of the ring, down to the floor. I have to wonder, with Victoria's commissioner, how Steve Bradley feels about that. Steve Bradley not here this week with us. We'll have to find out. I'll see if I can get some word from Victoria on what exactly this situation is with Steve Bradley. She's kick, low blow out of seven. I'm gonna see if next week I can get our new commissioner lined up for a one-on-one -on -one interview. We're gonna to get to the bottom of this and find out exactly what's going on and what the status is of the current Southern Heavyweight Champion, Steve Bradley. Bradley and Victoria are still scheduled to face Crash and Molly Holly in Jackson, Tennessee, but with now her as acting commissioner, that puts a whole new spin on things. Rod Rage is having his problems out here with Seven, and who wouldn't Seven is a monster. Snap mare. Going for a cover? No, going for one of those big boots across the throat. Head into the top turnbuckle. Irish whip into the corner. Seven with a full head of steam meets with an elbow out of Rod Rages. Up and under, big punch to the jaw. Oh, but look at Rod Rages, catches. Big boot out of seven, referee Robert Malone checking on Rod Rages. Choke over the top rope seven, dangerously close to being disqualified. Quick reminder here, we hope to see everybody out in Corinth. Mississippi tonight, American Legion building. We make our return. We haven't been down to Corinth for quite some time, but we'll be down there at the American Legion building. You can catch the stars of Memphis Championship Wrestling Bell Time, 8 o'clock tonight in Corinth, Mississippi. Look at this brute continuing to dish out the punishment on Rod Rages, getting a stern warning from referee Robert Malone. Malone's kind of a no-nonsense referee in there. Four. 
And he has his hands full today with seven. Another chokehold in the corner. And now a little treadmill work. And Rod Rages having his problems here this morning. Irish whip out of the corner. This is the clothesline. Belly to back. No. Rod Rages over. Boot. DDT. And seven is down as well on the mat. Referee Robert Malone tolling the count. I'm sure new Commissioner Victoria is backstage with a keen eye on what action is going on out here today. She said she's going to get things in control, and she seems to have it out for Joey Abs. During the break, I checked Lance Cade. We got word on him. He is okay. No serious injury to Lance Cade. But I'm sure he's looking forward to getting his hands on Joey Abs one-on-one -on -one in the center of the ring. Wait a minute, what, oh, seven. Shoves Rod Rages into referee Robert Malone. Rod Rages ringing the ears and the neck. And now he's going up top for the high society. Wait a minute, Spanky out with a chair. Gloms Rod Rages. Spanky in, I guess trying to get a little payback for losing the light heavyweight title. Chair right to the throat. Spanky jumps out, seven on top. Malone over, one, two, three. And your winner, seven. Well, seven gets the victory here on Memphis Championship Wrestling Unleashed. But wait a minute, Spanky back into work. He's got the chair right in Rod Rage's throat. Referee Robert Malone trying to get Spanky out there, but look at him going to work on Rod Rages. He's trying to maim him with that steel chair again into the rib. Here we got Pete Gass in. Gass is in. He's on top of Spanky going to work. Boots in the corner. Wait a minute, here comes Shooter Schultz. It's Shooter Schultz on top of Gass. I thought we had seen the end of the click earlier in today's program, but we have Spanky and Shooter Schultz working together against Gas and Rod Rages. I think Rod Rages may have had a cracked rib off that last chair shot. Shooter has Pete over in the corner. Going to work, wait a minute. Shooter's got him. Shooter's getting Pete down in the Shooter clutch. He's got him in it. We're running out of time here on Memphis Championship Wrestling. We'll see you tonight in Corinth, Mississippi. April 18, Jackson, Tennessee. Look out, frogs flash out of Spanky. My God, they're destroying Rodney and Pete Gass.